Hook line rocking chair with the option for a blocker strap. We're gonna start in the hook line position, feet flat on the ground, hip width apart. Always thinking about the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder alignment. She's gonna bring her arms out at a 45 degree angle, palms up. In this position, we're encouraging a little flexion of the hip and then also a little thoracic extension. Her upper body's gonna stay relaxed at this point. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna rock back up on her, on her heels, bringing her toes up. When you do this rocking motion, it's really important that you maintain that distance of hip, hip width apart. Sometimes the feet wanna walk away from you and then go down and then heels up and then back. So we're trying to establish the kinetic chain in the legs. So we're getting the fibers through flexion and extension from the ankle all the way up into the hip to be a little dynamic and get some dynamic movement. If your therapist chooses to, they'll take a strap if they wanna do a little bit more pelvic stability work and come up above the knee, go in the same position, this time engaging out against the strap and then continuing with the rocking chair. And they can also choose to have you release and then pull out um, I like to have it just pulled out as, an op as the best option. And then you're gonna relax, and if the therapist wants to do a little bit more pelvic stability work with the block, then they add the block, and we're engaging our adductors at this point. And again, continuing the rocking chair motion. And you're gonna repeat as your therapist recommends, and this is hook line rocking chair with option for block or strap.